fathers are often driven away so that mother and children can eat. 85% of the head of household is a woman because most of the men who should be in the household, they cannot make a decent living. And of course it is better to know that a child will be fed 12 months out of the year than three months, which is during the summer when construction work, you can make a decent living. The man in the house rule was written to prevent welfare cheating, to make sure that aid to families with dependent children would go only to families headed by mothers. But the effect of the man in the house rule is to create for children an atmosphere of investigation and surveillance. And thus, the welfare system in its operation turns out to be a system to make life harder for children. The welfare system helps the disintegration of the American family. It uh, offers money to families if the fathers will leave them and stay away, in that sense undoing the very stability of the family and taking away one of the two parents the children, of course, need. And uh, what I have seen, I'm afraid to say, all over the country is that the legal system works against the best kind of home for these children. We don't encourage parents to be at home with the children. We don't encourage mothers to feel uh, that they uh, can find their destiny as mothers. We take away, in many of the most vulnerable homes, fathers from those homes. We herd foster children together in institutions rather than trying to find decent homes for them. We uh, don't tap the resources we have in communities and with respect to older people so that they can help out vulnerable homes. We don't sanction and encourage and support in every way, morally, psychologically, and financially, the dignity and integrity of the home. And in the worst of it, the worst of it is that we do, the homes that are most vulnerable are the homes that are least supported by the policies of local, state, and federal governments. And no wonder then, out of these more vulnerable neighborhoods, we get an endless cycle of uh, troubled, delinquent, wayward youth who grow up even more and become the lawbreakers of our society. Now, I don't know how you break this cycle except by starting out with young children. Fathers are often driven away so that mother and children can eat. 85% of the head of household is a woman because most of the men who should be in the household, they cannot make a decent living. And of course, it is better to know that a child will be fed 12 months out of the year than three months, which is during the summer when construction work, you can make a decent living.